example uh, the contradiction statement is something like this so if you have to prove if you have to prove uh, p is true okay so what you do is assume that p is false do some calculations so work little work here and reach a conclusion that something which is universally true becomes false so basically you start with the opposite assumption what you have to prove work a little bit and end up with some uni known universal fact to be false okay so let's see how it works let's say our p is that given n numbers there uh, so numbers we will say a1 a2 up to a n okay there should be at least one of these numbers that is greater than than the average okay so this is our proposition the proposition is what that if we have n numbers we are saying that there should be at least one greater than or equal to we'll say or equal to there should be at least one of those which is greater than or equal to the average okay so what is our universal truth here so the universal truth here is that our average a this is equal to a1 plus a2 plus up to a n divided by n or we can say n times a this is equal to a1 plus a2 plus up to a n okay now let's assume <coughs> that our proposition p is false so proposition p is false means what p is false it means that all a i's for i is 1 to n are less than a in other words we say that a1 is less than a a2 is less than a and up to a n is less than a okay now what we do we add them all so we say this means if we add this left hand side and if we add this right hand side so with the inequality will prevail will remain right so this is a1 plus a2 plus up to a n is less than n times a but what we saw earlier that this sum should be equal to n times a so this means something universal so the definition of average is proved false so the definition of average is something universal so something universal has been which is known to be universally true has been proved to be universally false therefore our assumption assumption that all a i is less than a is false which means there 
is at least one AI, which AI means any one A1, A2 up to AN, which is that is greater than or equal to A. Okay, so this is the way we prove using contradiction. Okay, so this is a very common uh, way to prove some postulates, some theorems, some propositions. Uh, it depends on you know. Again, it depends on practice and it depends on your understanding of the <coughs> of the problem. Excuse me. So sometimes direct proof is easy, sometimes contrapositive is easy, and sometimes contradiction is easy. But uh, as as you solve more and more problems, you will you know appreciate that both all the ways, all the methods are equally useful. Okay. So this is it for now. Hope you like the video. Thanks for watching.